shadow goes into his hair as well. So don't be afraid of putting it right up. And it goes up into the eye. Now I know I've done this before, make me look. But try and see these shapes rather than drawing them out. Okay? See that? It's all dark in there. There's, I can't see any white in that corner. And in fact, I can hardly make out the tear duct. It's, it's quite deep in the shadow. For the, for the first exercise, I want us to look at the shapes of tone that I was talking about. So what you need to do is is put some construction lines in. Um, I actually haven't haven't uh, spoken to you about this, but I'm going to say my eyes are going to be there, and he's on his side to me, so I'm putting a slight curve there. Okay, so these it's slightly different to what I was talking about before, but it's still the same principles. I'm just doing them slightly differently. I'm saying I'm going to put my eyes there instead of putting my my little almond. Uh, eyes as such, which Nathan most definitely does not have, yeah. okay? So, um, but I'm also looking at the, the shapes of the shadows to try and get something happening here. This part of the head is going to be smaller than that part of the head because I'm drawing a, um, at an angle, but if the whole width is that, it is about one and a half, so one and a half, yeah, so that's about right. I've measured my proportions and I've put some construction lines in instead of putting um, the eyes in. But I'm going to um, block in where I think the eyes are going to be because I want to make his nose the right length. So I know that that space there is greater than that space. So you can't see that from where you are unless you but you're understanding what I'm what I'm saying at least. Establish the major shapes of tone. All I want us to see is hardly any features, just the shapes of the tone for this exercise. To see your shapes of tone more carefully, you can squint your eye. Not more carefully, more reasonably, knock it back, take the detail away and just see the shapes of tone. If you squint your eyes, you should be able to see it better. So try not to be too worried, especially the people who go more slowly. Adjust if you're not getting it. The whole point is not believe it or not, I know it is for Mike, is not necessarily the likeness. I just want you to understand what things look like at the moment for the first exercise. I don't know if it's happening. I'm quite nervous actually. <laughs> if not drawing the bottom lip has come out really well there. I think he's much too long. He's not wide enough so obviously stuffed up my measurement somewhere. But I'm not really fussed about that for this exercise. What I want you to observe, so even though his hair is darker obviously than his skin, the darkest side of his hair is that side. So you don't actually have to color it in, okay? We're not doing a perfect, uh, in fact, yeah, this is, doesn't look like him at all. But, oh, thank you. Um, but what I want you to see, so for this exercise, I want you to see the shapes of tone. Can you see the shapes of tone on my piece of paper? So everywhere where you see a shadow there, I want you to say what shape is that shadow and put the shape of that shadow in. And the shadow goes like that and the whole brow is in shadow. And here, the eye actually gets buried. There is a sparkle in his eye, but I'm going to leave that out for now. Now, after I put the first shading in, I'm now coming back with 
Okay, it's a bit darker here, it's a bit darker there. Now remember that nub of the nose that I spoke about? Mm -hmm. Well, the shadow actually goes around it like that, which shows it as three-dimensional. See what I mean? Can you see, Francis? Yeah. And this shadow is... Okay, I'm making exactly the same corrections that I'm asking you to see. I've done things wrong here that I'm now correcting. For example, I can see his eyebrow touching his, his edge of his face okay. there. So I've just, you know, done what I've had to do to get, start getting that right based on the shape of tone still. Now, that whole area there is in tone from his nose, but he's got a bit of a shine across here where the light's coming in, but that's also got, and this has got very um, definite shape of tone here across the, so that's like the nub of his nose, he, is, the, is the, the, that fleshy bit of the skin. Okay, I can't see his ear on that side. I've made his head much too tall, so what I could do is, and this is where I don't want you to worry, is I could just shorten it, okay, to adjust. It is natural to make those mistakes, which is why I asked you all to plot it in. Okay, so first exercise, I've just taken about 10 minutes to do that. First exercise that you're going to do with Nathan is you're going to put in the shapes of tone. That's what I consider one shape of tone. That's another shape of tone. That's a 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 shape of tone. Are you understanding where I'm coming from? Yep. That's what I'd like you to see. Now, they are all different tones. This might be the darkest tone. This might be the lightest tone. That doesn't matter to me. I just want you, to, even if it looks like what I've just drawn now, that's what I want you to do, and I want you to do it in 15 minutes or less. So stop worrying about it and go for it. <laughs>